Here we have 4.8, finding the roots of a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus equals zero. So in order for us to solve a polynomial or quadratic equal to zero, um, we have to have it in factored form. And since this problem is not in factored form, we have to do use our factoring skills to put it in factored form. So the first thing you would do is try to identify a GCF. I notice that both of these can be divided by six and a W. And when I do that, I'm left with W plus three. And to keep it an equation, I tagged on the equal zero as it was in the line before. And then once you have this in its factored form, we know that this factor has to equal zero or this factor has to equal zero. And so if I solve this, if I divide by six on both sides, I get that W has to equal zero. And if I minus three on both sides, I get that W has to equal negative three. So we have two solutions, zero and negative three. Similarly for this one, however, we can only solve a polynomial equation or a quadratic equation if I have it in factored form equal to zero. So I have two problems here. One is this is not factored, and two, it's not equal to zero. So I have to fix both of those things first. Now I can't factor one term and one term. So the first issue to fix is get it equal to zero. Once you have it equal to zero, you'll have multiple terms, and then you can go ahead and factor those multiple terms. So to do that, I'm gonna add 19v to both sides. And then when I do that, I get v squared plus 19v equal to zero. And now if I factor this, I can factor out a GCF and I get v plus 19. I cannot factor this any further. So I'm just gonna say v equals to zero or v plus 19 equals to zero. This one's already solved for. And then I'm gonna minus 19 on both sides so I get v equal to negative 19 as the other solution. So we have zero or negative 19 as our solutions.